The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. And if he can do that to you, he can do that to everybody, which means what? That in effect, the Constitution is totally fucking worthless. So, since it's been going on from the very fucking beginning in this country, there is nothing to go back to. There is no liberty to regain. There is no fucking freedom to fucking go back to. So everybody who shouts up this ridiculous fucking nonsense of getting back our Constitution and getting back our fucking liberty and fucking freedom, we're not... What are you getting back? You're not getting back any fucking thing. Because we never had it to begin with. Ever! Hello, YouTube. I know you've seen the clip at the beginning, but um, what he says is sort of what true, but he hasn't done enough research. He's got a lot of books behind him, and he's got a computer in front of him. Um, we did have a constitution, and it was rewritten in 1871. So we do have a constitution to go back to. And I would appreciate it if everyone would go here and look at this and read it. Uh, I got it slowed down. This is the actual bill. Uh, you can read it. Uh, it's on my blog, and it will be on my blog. Um, it's going to be on my blog a lot more because I found this morning that uh, on one of my blogs that it had been taken down. So I will. I have taken pictures of it now, and I am going to put them up on several of the ones that I've have up about the 1860s, the 1861 bill. So. With that, and you know, I get upset because people get in here and scream and shout and holler about we don't have a constitution, and we do not. I'm not disagreeing with that. The constitution that we do have right now sucks, and it sucks bad. But if you're going to get in there and you're going to rant and rave and do everything and Obama's getting his way because of this bill I do want y'all to understand that but if y'all gonna get in here and rant and rave rant and rave about this bill this is the bill that you need to be ranting and raving about cause this one right here takes all your freedoms away from you and it has since 1871 and no one wants to wake up to it including the guy that was speaking at the beginning that or he just don't understand history enough to know um, I, I, I don't know which. I would appreciate it if he went and done the reading and done the research on it for himself. That way, when he gets in here and rants and raves, and he could correct himself by saying, yes, we did have a constitution that was worth something. Now, if he's got something that's more stantial and he's got some documented proof to show me that this was, was uh, the second one, then I'd appreciate it. But I don't think he does because the original Constitution made us free. That's what made this country what it is today or we would have never been here. And then this bill come along and since this bill they have been destroying our country. Yeah, it got better for a while but that's the way they have to do things. And I hope y'all all understand that. But I love my country, and I'm sure that that man does too, or he wouldn't be so upset. And I'm upset too. Trust me, I'm. I've learned to try to calm down and be a little calmer here. And my wife is up, and she's liable to uh, come over and hit me in the head with a frying pan if I go to cussing like, like he was doing, because she'd already said he cusses a lot. So I'm gonna kind of keep it cool here because she might get mad at me and I don't want a frying pan on top of my head but especially people y'all need to get in here and study the bill read the bill learn the bill 
and understand what it says. And when people tell you, and they got radio shows and, and all that, and they say the Constitution's worthless and it's no good, please, people, stop believing that. The Constitution, the original, listen to my words, the original Constitution, original, the very first, the 1876. It was actually written a little bit later than that, but we're not going to get technical with it. But that's when we celebrate it, okay? That was the original Constitution. After 1871, they rewrote the Constitution. I will put this on the blog that it needs to be on, or I'm going to make a new one for it, because of the controversy that I keep hearing about it. If y'all don't like this video and you don't believe in the Constitution, you can unsubscribe. I don't care. It, it, it's not the point. The point of it is, is if we're going to fight for something, we need to unite and we need to fight this bill and only this bill because if we fight this bill and get it stricken from the law, then our freedom comes back and all the other Constitution uh, bullshit that they've amended and like the Federal Reserve, all that horse shit goes away. Do you understand? All of it goes away. All Obama's executive orders goes away. His health care law. All that crap that's all in our face right now that is destroying our country goes away. If we don't fight this law, then you're wasting your fucking time. Sorry. But I had to say it. This right here is the main reason we're in the shit that we're in right now. So if y'all want to sleep with your finger up your ass and scream and holler and shout because you're not getting a free milk milkshake at the uh, 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 at your court hearing, I can't help you. Or you want something free or you want a handout, I can't help you. This right here makes everything go away. If you get rid of this bill, everything goes away. If you don't get rid of this, then nothing goes away, and you're going to be just like you are or worse. means your grandchildren, your children, my children, everybody's kids are going to be slaves. We're already slaves. But your grandchildren is going to have it even worse than you have it now. Okay, do you understand that? We have an enlightenment, uh, you know, we're supposed to be going through uh, a historical thing right now where we're supposed to be getting brighter and enlightened. Why aren't y'all getting enlightened? I mean, does it have to get worse before it gets better? I mean, I've been doing this for four years and I've been doing a lot of studying and it seems like the more truth that comes out, the less you people want to listen. And it is so weird. If we had the Constitution, the original, let me, re let me say this again, the original Constitution. Not this one that's got democracy in it. Because the democracy is not freedom. You need to look up the word. It's not freedom. It's ruled. It's a, it, I ain't even going to get into all that. You can see the bill in front of you. What we need is to be free. And I'm running out of time. But people, I'm ranting. And, you know, it, it irks me to see people not understand all of our history. And I know that it's not their fault. It really ain't their fault. You have to study history to know history. Because they damn sure are not going to teach it to you in school. They're not going to teach it to you in school. You've got to learn this on your own. I didn't learn it in school. If I did, I'd have been talking about this a long time ago. I've been knowing it for quite a while. But... You can't get in here right off the bat and show this because people got to be worked into it. And 
it's time for people to be working into this now. Big time. So, people, y'all got to wake up to the fact that this bill is what screwed your whole life up. What's going on today started in 1871. Okay? So, with that, I hope this bill's going slow enough for you to read it, and I hope it's going to turn out clear enough for y'all to read. So, much love to y'all. Heads up. And I will put this on the blog, and there will be a link in the bottom description. Have a great day and a great rest of the weekend.